All right. Now, this time of year, this time of year, it's just like, it's one of my favorite times of year, and I'm not exactly sure why, because probably like a lot of you, I grew up in a lower middle class family. There wasn't a lot of money for presents. Every freaking year I ask Santa Claus for something, every year I get socks. When you're six, socks don't cut it. Socks don't cut it when you're 60, all right? And I look at my mom with these big eyes. I'm like, Mom, big socks. You know, well, you need it, socks. Yeah, I know, but it's Christmas. Socks. Socks. When you have disappointment when you're young, but anybody here who's got little kids at home, just remember, you are scarring them for life. You don't got to give them everything in the world, but they got that one thing they really want. Make it happen, or else this happens. My parents going, where do we go wrong? You gave me socks. Well, man, I'm about eight years old, right? And I have had it. I just, this is it. I'm laying it all on the line, talking way back, way back. I said, this is the last year. I'm going to go see Santa, the real one at Macy's in Manhattan. The real one, all right? And I'm going to tell him what I want. And if I don't get it, that's it. That's it. I'm out. I no longer believe if I do not get what I want this year. So I went to the city with my parents. I got on that freaking line for three hours. I get up to Santa and I freaking choke. You see the movie? It's true. You all know that. I'm sitting there and I'm choking. Santa's going, what do you want, little boy? I'm going, uh, he's going, spit it out, spit up, shut up. All right. Finally, he goes, you better tell me what you want, son. There's other people waiting. And I looked at Santa Claus with those big puppy dog eyes. I said, Santa, I want to rock. Do 